is this kind of a model has a very different long run behavior than the model I just put on the board. Okay? Well, let me explain why. Because now think about what our model looks like. Our maximization problem, same problem we had, we're going to max integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus rt, v of k of t, minus, what did I call it, p times k delta k of t plus k dot of t minus a 1 over 2 k dot of t squared dt. Everybody agrees with that formula? All right. So now let's think about what does this say our first order condition is going to be? What's our first order condition going to be? And let's hold, let's make our life simple, let's hold net investment constant. We're going to do the perturbation that I have on the board over there. We're going to hold future k dots fixed. So what's my first order condition going to be? What's my first order condition? Anybody tell me? Well, I got a differential respect to k dot at date t, right? So I'm going to get an e to the minus rt minus... What multiplies k dot? P plus A k dot. Right? That's the marginal cost of investment at date t. Equals plus. I'm going to get the integral of the future which is the integral from t to infinity, e to the minus r tau, v prime of tau, minus delta p, d tau. Right? Everybody agrees with that? That's going to be my first order condition. Because remember, I'm holding future k dots fixed, so I'm not changing future k dots at all. So that would be my first order condition. So what do I get? I get P plus A K dot of T, which is really my marginal cost of investment, right? That's my marginal cost of investment equals integral t to infinity, e to the minus rt, v prime of tau, minus delta p d tau. And this is tau minus p. Right, because I just brought the e to the minus rt over the other side. All right. So it says, I have my marginal cost of investment equal to that discounted value of net returns on capital, just like I had before. So viewed in the short run, this model looks almost exactly like my other model, right? Because I got a rising supply price here. The rising supply price is not coming because the price of capital is going up as I invest in more capital, but my adjustment costs are going up. Right? So again, why do I slow down investment in this model? Not because I'm going to have to pay more for capital if I want to buy it faster, but because it's going to cost me more to put it in place if I try to put it in place too fast. I want to slow down that adjustment process. So that the kind of features we had of the model before with that rising supply price is still going to be there. Right? If the demand for capital suddenly went up at date T, we wouldn't install all that capital day one. We would spread it out like we did in our model to spread out and reduce our overall adjustment costs. It's cheaper to adjust slowly than it is to adjust very rapidly. Right? We had that rising supply of capital in that case. Okay? Rising supply of investment because it's costing us more to put that investment in place in terms of these adjustment costs. 